Hi. Can you hear me? Can you see me? Hi, Gigi. Sí. King, quítate. Si me ve y me escucha bien. Yes, teacher, se ve bien. Ok. Se escucha bien. Ok, perfecto, porque, eh, bueno, como está lloviendo, a veces el internet se pone un poquito inestable, así que pregunto por qué si me aparecen los mensajes de que el internet está inestable, pero por lo menos me escuchan, bueno, usted me escucha bien porque es la única que está aquí. Sí, sí, se le escucha bien y se le ve bien. Ok, perfecto, si algún, en algún momento no se me escucha, avísenme, por favor. Ok. okay. ¿Cómo está el día de hoy, Dalila? How was your day? Un poco cansada, pero ya tomé una siesta y ya me siento mejor. Oh, yeah. I understand. Like, a nap, it's a really good idea, always. Siempre una siesta, siempre es una buena idea, right? Yeah. <laughs> But you feel better now? Like, más descansada? Sí, teacher, ya más descansada. Ok. Mm -hmm. Excelente. Es que quien no me deja, quiere atención. Ay, su perrito. En gatito negro. Ay, es un gato. Qué bonito. Ay, sí. Me encantan los gatos negros. Oh, it's so cute. What's the name? Kim. Se llama Kim. Kim. Oh, my God. Yes. It sounds great. Oh, y my se God. lo ha creído. Oh, it's cute. Se lo ha creído. Sí. sí, es como ellos están encima de nosotros cuando quieren, right? No cuando no quieren, sino cuando ellos quieren. Yes. Yeah, I understand. They are like that. I have four cats, so I understand. They like um their own space, como que les gusta su propio espacio, pero de repente quieren amorcito y se van a tirar encima de una, right? Yes. Así son los gatos. Yes. It, it's your only your only cat? The only one that you have? No, tengo three. Three cats. Oh my god. Yes. Three cats. Oh my god. That it's that it's amazing. Just it's like uh, similar like me, right? And y los otros son negros también? No, los otros son white con café, blanco con café. Uh -huh, brown and white. Uh -huh. yeah. Brown, brown, brown. Yeah. Okay. I understand. And they are like old or babies? Babies. Mm, so I like it. I have uh, my mister that is a, a old, an old cat. Que es un cato bastante viejo. Just tiene unos dos años. Ya un señor. And I have a baby that it's really 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 little it's like just like here well it's sí. like that <laughs> but it's like a baby uh, yet he's like uh, what is it called like five months or something five months mm -hmm. so it's a baby <laughs> okay I really love it. I really love to hear about your cats I really love cats well I love animals in general I think I love um Cats, dogs, birds. Um, did you ever heard about the capybaras? <laughs> With the capybaras? Yeah. They are so pretty. I really love them. Capybaras are so pretty. The rabbits, rabbits are so pretty too. Yeah, I don't have a rabbit, but my best friend, um, my best friend has one. So it's really cute. I really love uh, bunnies. It's like, um, like a cat, but with uh, yeah. big ears, like, <laughs> son como gatos, pero tienen unas orejas bien grandotas. Y son bien peludos, parecen peluches. Okay, excellent. And hey, I can see that we have another participants right here, que ya se comenzaron a conectar los demás. How are you guys? Jonathan, Cynthia, Abigail, Magdalena, tell me, how are you? Hello. Hi. Hi, Jonathan. It's good to see you again. Hi. 
Hi, can you hear me? Can you hear me and see me very well? No sé si me escucha, es que me parece, me parece una etiqueta que dice que tengo mala la conexión a internet, entonces no sé si ustedes me escuchan. Yo sí la escucho bien. Ok, perfecto. Ok, perfect. So I hope that you are fine. And uh, we were talking with Dalila about her cats and my cats. We, live, we really love cats. Um, yeah, I think like cats are one of my favorite animals. Yeah, one of my favorite animals. I really love cats. So we we're talking about it. But um, I think like we are 11 right now, so we can start our class. And I'm going to show you my screen. Les voy a presentar mi pantalla y ustedes me avisan cuando ya la puedan ver. Okay, tell me when you can see. Can you see it right now? Yes, teacher. Okay, thank you. Uh, primero que nada, perdón si me escuchan un poquito mocosa. Ando un poquito con gripe. Um, sí, un poquito mal de la naricita. So, es muy posible que me escuchen algo como griposa. Um, si algo no se me entiende o no se me escucha, me avisan y lo puedo repetir, ¿ok? Eso es dado caso de que el internet se balancea un poquito porque he, te he tenido bastante problemas de internet en el día. Espero que no tengamos problemas ahorita, pero si pasa, um, sabemos que, que puede ser por esto del internet y ya saben que vamos a continuar, ¿ok? So, um, hey guys, we're going to see a new topic today that is my dream work. Yesterday we were talking about my dream house. I remember, right? My dream house. That was the topic, right? Like, um, what's the type of house that I will really like to have? And um, what furniture or what things this house um, I want to, to, to have, right? And that was the topic for yesterday. And today we're going to see a new topic that is my dream job, right? Um, we always have these like dreams. We talk about our dream house. That was the last topic. And we all talk about it. And today we're going to talk about our dream work. I think like um, we all have our dream work. Maybe it's not your, um, your, your currently work, or maybe you are not doing the thing that you wanted when you were a baby, but when you were little, right? When you were a kid, but um, we all have our dream work, right? Like como el sueño, eh, ese sueño que siempre hemos tenido desde niños, for example, algunas personas sonaban con ser astronautas, right? So it's like a dream. Like, for example, my dream work is to be a pilot, right? To be a pilot. I really love planes right me gusta el cielo me gustan los aviones so i would like to be a pilot me gustaría ser una, un piloto um it's a really expensive career es una carrera de hecho bastante cara y eh, pues es como es muy muy cara no la puedo pagar so well i can't see anymore Mi, de mis ojitos ya no dan para tanto tampoco porque tengo miopía, así que posiblemente tampoco podría ser un piloto, but it's my dream work, right? It's something like that I dream with, like to be in the sky and to see, um, I don't know, the sun from the air. I, I really, I really like, um, I, I really like how it sounds, right? So I would like to, to be a pilot. This is like my dream work. And I am sure that you have your own dream work that you ever heard, of, that you ever thought about um, what's the thing that you really, um, that you really would like to do in this world. So we're going to talk about it right now. This is the topic for today. My dream work, mi trabajo soñado. 
el trabajo que he soñado tener siempre, lo que siempre he querido trabajar, right? This is the topic for today. Esto es solamente un recordatorio, y ustedes se los hago todos los días para que no olviden. Remember when you're talking in simple present, you will use the positive subject, the verb, and the complement. In negative, you use the subject, the auxiliary, do or does, depending on the subject, the verb, the complement. And in questions, you're going to use the auxiliary first, always, then the subject, then the verb, and then the complement, right? So this is the way that we use the simple present. Remember that we use it when we are talking about routines or general situations, right? Or when we're doing a description about something or someone, right? Como de un lugar, una persona. Cuando hacemos descripciones, también se utiliza el simple present going to be, que es algo que ya habíamos visto, like how to describe myself, how can I, how can I describe um, my hair, my eyes, my... And my emotions, right? All of these things. So it's simple pressing is to talk about the routines. So when we're talking about my dream work, it's something like um, that we can talk up, we can talk about it in simple present or in another um another um I tenses, right? Como en otros tiempos gramaticales. So that's okay. So we're going to see. A reading or the first one, the first things that we are going to do is the reading activity. Um, creo que no había preguntas sobre el simple present. Me acuerdo que lo habíamos visto todo y todo estaba cool. Así que les voy a presentar mi pantalla y vamos a hacer la lectura del día de hoy. Avísenme cuando la vean. Can you see it? Yes, picture. Yeah, okay. So I have two volunteers to help me to read. Raise your hand. Mm -hmm. Two volunteers to help me with this conversation. We're going to practice this conversation, right? So I need two volunteers to read. Okay, Jonathan and Nilsson, va a ser Rachel, y me falta alguien que sea Angela. Raise your hand who wants to be Angela. Aquí está. Okay. Um, Maria Martinez. Okay, Maria Martinez va a ser Angela. Okay, go guys. Start the conversation. Where does your brother work? In a hotel. Oh, really? My brother works in a hotel too. He's a front desk agent. How does he like it? Not very much. He doesn't like the manager. That's so bad. What hotel does he work for? D plus. That's funny. My brother works there too. Oh, thanks. Interesting. What does he do? Actually, he is manager. Okay, thank you so much, guys, for helping me to read. Ay, me dio mucha risa porque al final era el, 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 man, el manager era el hermano de Angela. <laughs> yeah, okay, thank you so much for helping me to read. Okay, this is the conversation. He works in a hotel. And you can see that it's a conversation between Rachel and Angela. And um, they are talking about... Um, their brothers like the brother of Rachel the brother of Angela and um, where uh, does uh, he work right where does he work and all of these things so is the conversation he works in a hotel okay this is not a, a, a really big dream because you can see in this conversation that um, that the, the, the Rachel no the Angela's brother Rachel, no, Rachel's brother is working in a hotel and is a front desk agent, que es como un recepcionista. Front desk, que es como enfrente del escritorio, right? Agent, una gente enfrente del escritorio, pero no la vamos a decir así en español. Si le decimos eh, recepcionistas a esas personas, right? Recepcionistas, están en la recepción, están prácticamente en la entrada. So, where you can see that this person doesn't like and that job okay doesn't like that job this isn't his um dream job 
right? This is a, his dream job. No es su sueño, no es su trabajo soñado, right? But maybe he can have another um, dream work, like, I don't know, to be an architect or a doctor or something like that, but not to be a front desk agent. So we can see it right there, okay? Vamos a leer el grammar focus, que es pre simple present with questions, okay? Con preguntas abiertas, que son what, where, when, how, where, creo que dije where, right? Las preguntas abiertas, que son preguntas que se utilizan para poder preguntar cosas, ya no solo de sí o no, sino dónde, cuándo, con quién, a qué horas, right? We're going to do it like that. So I need to, a volunteer to help me to read the first part, las primeras tres en esta línea. Ana Lucía, okay? Ana Lucía, help me to read las primeras tres, estas tres. What do you work in a hospital? What do you do? I'm a doctor. Who do you like? It? I really like it. Excellent. Thank you so much, Ana Lucía. Look at this. Where do you work? What do you do? How do you like it? Okay? Donde trabajas, right? ¿Qué haces? Te gusta, right? This is a simple question, uh, a, a simple open questions that you can ask to your classmate when you are doing this type of questions, right? I need another volunteer to help me to read the second line. Raise your hand who wants to help me with the other one, with this. Jonathan, okay, Jonathan, go. Where does he work? In a hotel. Uh, what does he do? He's a manager. How does he like it? It's okay. Okay, excellent, amazing. Thank you so much, Jonathan. Look at this. Where does he work? We are talking not with the present. We are talking with a he, right? Where does he work? Right, we are not talking about the first person, we are talking about the third person, la tercera persona que es un él, right? Por lo tanto, las preguntas siempre se utilizan abiertas, que son where, what, how, and I don't know, who, right, when, que todas esas preguntas abiertas podemos utilizar. So, you can see it right here. It's like when you are talking about him or she or it, you are going to use the does, okay? Where does... What does, how does, en vez de where do, what do, how do, okay? Eso es para el presente. I need a volunteer to help me to read the, the other one, the last one. Raise your hand. Albert Martinez, okay? Albert, tell, help me to read the last one. Where do they work? I am a restaurant. What do they do? They waiters. How do they like it? They hate it. Thank you. They hate it, right? No les gusta, right? To be they don't doesn't they don't like to be a waiters, right? Ser meseros, right? They don't like it. They don't like it. A ellos no les gusta, okay? Excellent. So this is a simple questions. When you are doing simple questions with the simple present, sorry, when you are doing open questions with the simple present, you always are going to um, open the question with the with the open question, like is what, when, where, how, who, um, at what time, for example, at what time, a que horas, right? This is like the simple questions, the, the open questions. Okay, entonces usted comienza con la pregunta abierta y luego sigue simple present exactamente igual como lo hemos visto. Como es pregunta, utilizamos what, when, where, how, um, who, at what time, and all of these things, y luego, su, eh, y luego el, el auxiliar, luego el sujeto, y luego el complemento. Como ustedes pueden ver en este Grammar Focus, where do, look at this, pregunta abierta, where, luego el auxiliar do, luego el sujeto, luego el, el complemento, que en este, eh, perdón, luego el verbo, y luego el complemento, of course. Y lo mismo con he, primero ponemos la pregunta abierta, where, luego ponemos el auxiliar, que en este caso el auxiliar de he es das, 
Luego el sujeto, luego el verbo y luego el complemento, of course. And this is the way that we use the simple questions um, in, pres in simple present, okay? The open questions in simple present. I need to know if someone of you have any questions about it. ¿Alguien tiene alguna pregunta sobre esto? Yes, questions? No? Everything is good. Okay. Okay, excellent. So, we're going to come back to our presentation and we're going to continue with the vocabulary. Okay, let's present my pantalla. Okay, tell me when you can see it. Can you see my screen now? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so that was the reading activity where we read about the conversation about this guy who doesn't like to, to work in a hotel, to be a front desk uh, agent, receptionista. And we're going to pass to the other part that is our vocabulary, right? We're going to learn about some vocabulary that you can know about the jobs, right? So um, if we want to talk about our dream job, we need to know we need to know how to name the words, how to call them, right? Como llamar a estos estos trabajos, como se les dice, right? Como digo que quiero ser una cosa o que quiero ser la otra, right? So I prepared a little vocabulary about it, so you can stand, so you can see a different type of uh, of jobs, and we're going to start with this. I'm going to pronunciate. The, uh, the works for you and then you're going to pronunciate it after me, okay? So we're going to start with the first one. Repeat after me. Custodian. Custodian. Solo escuchados personitas, what happened with the rest of you? Repeat of, again. Custodian. Custodian. Excellent. Okay, necesito que pronuncien. Que pronuncien, si no pronuncian, no estoy segura que lo pronuncian bien, right? Custodian, right? And it's something like um, uh, alguien que hace la limpieza, right? He's like a custodian, okay? Repeat after me. Delivery driver. Delivery driver. Delivery driver, amazing. Delivery driver. This is the people who, um, who, carry the food in their cars or in their motorcycles, right? Cargan con la comida en, la, en, la, en el carro o en la motocicleta para ir a dejarla a las casitas. This is a delivery driver. Es como un delivery. Sí, ustedes saben lo que es un delivery. Es algo que entregan eh, los, las personas que van a entregar la comida hasta la casita. This is a delivery driver. Okay, repeat after me. A state agent. State agent. State agent. State agent, excellent. An estate agent is something like un agente de bienes raíces, right? Un agente de bienes raíces. I don't know if you have ever seen um, Mother Family, but there is Phil that is a state agent, right? No sé si alguna vez han visto Mother Family. Si no la han visto, se la super recomiendo. Veanla en inglés porque es mucho más gracias en inglés, right? En español no tiene mucho sentido. Pero en inglés es súper buenísima. I really like it. Y me, me ayuda un montón a veces a mí a afinar el oído con el inglés. Y es súper graciosa. Súper, súper, súper graciosa. Todos los episodios hacen reír. Así que se las recomiendo. And there's a character that is an estate agent. Hay un, un personaje que es un estate agent. Vente las casas. Se llama Phil. So he's so funny, right? He's so funny. He's a father from um, some kids. And he's a state agent. So he is always uh, like showing the, the, the houses, the, the different type of houses. Remember that we talked about that yesterday and selling that, right? Y vendiéndolas. So this is an estate agent. Repeat after me, popular. Popular. 
Footballer. 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 Okay. Solo escucho como a cuatro personitas. ¿Dónde están los otros diez? Repeat after me. Footballer. 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 Footballer, perfect. This is a footballer, right? It's a footballer. It's something like plays like um, someone who plays the football. También le pueden decir football player. Así. Football player. También se les puede decir así. Que también es jugador de fútbol. ¿Cómo le quieren decir? Footballer o football player, it's okay. It's the same thing. It's like Messi, right? Like Cristiano Ronaldo or something like that. They are footballers, okay? Son personas que se dedican a jugar fútbol. Okay, repeat after me. Minister. 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 Excellent. Do you know what is minister? Ministro. Ministro, exacto, ministra, right? Okay. Que es diferente al, al, al secretary, right? It's not the same thing, but you can use it too. This is the minister, that means um, ministro o ministra, right? Ministro o ministra. This is minister, ministro o ministra. For example, um, in El Salvador, we have the minister of environment, el medio ambiente. The Minister of, I don't know, of Tourism, the Turismo, el Ministerio de Turismo, right? And all of these things. This is a minister, right? Un ministro, una ministra, right? Administran. Ministro o ministra que administran, right? Okay, the other one, repeat after me. Optician. 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 Excellent. Optician. Se les llama... Me dio la palabra. Optometrista. Optometrista, exacto. Thank you, Jonathan. Esa era. Sorry, a veces me dan las palabras en español. Optometrista. This is optician in English. Optician es optometrista. Son esas personitas. No sé si algunos de ustedes ocupan lentes. Seguramente más de alguno ocupa lentes. I don't optician. Y les dan como un unos lentes, ustedes se lo van probando y le ven como qué, qué línea, hasta qué línea logran leer, hasta qué letra logran identificar, right? This is an optician, les hacen exámenes de los ojos, es un optometrista, right? Un optometrista, así se les dice en el español. En in inglés es optician. Ok, repeat after me. Postman. 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 Hi, and the rest of you, postman, repeat, postman. 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 Excellent, Postman. Okay, thank you so much. You did it so great. Okay, Postman. That means, um, es el la persona que entrega el correo. ¿Cómo se les dice? Um, carteros. Carteros, right? Postman. Carteros, right? This is a Postman. This is someone who who keeps you the the, the post, the mails, right? This is past man. Okay, repeat after me. Refuse collection. Collector, perdón. Refuse collector. Refuse collector. Refuse collector. Okay, refuse collector. Excellent. That is someone, um, es como alguien que se encarga de recoger la basura, right? Recoger la basura, como por ejemplo en mi casa, bueno, no todas las alcaldías se encarga de esta parte de mandar a los camiones a recoger la basura de los colonias, right? So en mi casa pasan como tres veces a la semana y pasan estas personas que recogen la basura. This is a refuse collector, right? And it's a work too, okay? Repeat after me, bet. 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 Porque solo escucho a dos. Repeat, bet. 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 Ok, bet. Excellent. Pronúncienlo, guys, si no, no lo van a entender. Ok. Eh, bet es como la versión cortita de veterinarian, así. Esta es la palabra completa para decir veterinario, pero usualmente la gente solo les dice bet. Right, es como la palabra corta para decirlo como matemáticas, que se dice mathematics, pero la gente usualmente le dice solo maths, lo acorta. Entonces, algo así es con bet. Se puede decir veterinarian, que es un veterinario, veterinary también, or and bet, just bet, que es como la contracción, right, como más chiquito. 
Okay, so this is custodian, delivery driver, estate agent, food baller, minister, optician, postman, refuse collector, and vet. Okay, do you have any questions about this? ¿Alguien tiene alguna pregunta acerca de esto que hemos visto desde el momento? Eh, una consulta, custodian viene siendo como, como que, porque pareciera como que custodio, pero no es así, ¿verdad? Sí, <risa> como custodio. Um, quiero ver. Yo digo que es como una persona de la limpieza, pero es que no me acuerdo cuál es la palabra en el español. Con en, Es como... Ordenanza. ordenanza. Ah, ordenanza. Sí, como ordenanza quizás. Ajá, como la ordenanza, más o menos. Es como una persona de la limpieza, ¿sí? Custodian es como le diríamos a las señoras de la limpieza o a los señores de la limpieza. Por ejemplo, donde yo estudiaba, en, en el colegio donde yo estudiaba, cuando estudiaba... Eh, la high school, right? Um, habían personas que se encargaban específicamente de la limpieza. So they were custodians, right? Se encargaban de la limpieza. Son personas de la limpieza, ¿sí? Se me ha ido totalmente la palabra que se utiliza en el español, la verdad, para referirnos a un custodian, but it's like that, una persona que limpia, right? This is custodian, que se encarga de limpiar las áreas, okay? This is custodian. Okay, another, another question. No? No more. Okay, so the next. Okay, vamos a ver the next one. This is the surgeon. Repeat, surgeon. 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 Uh -huh. Okay, what do you think that is surgeon? Surgeon. Mm -hmm. What is a surgeon? Como enfermero, ¿no? Um, no, it's not like enfermero, es como un cirujano, right? This is surgeon. The surgery, surgery es cirugía, right? Surgery, cirugía. Surgeon es cirujano o cirujana. Independientemente del, del género, es cirujano o cirujana, ok? This is surgeon. Ok, this is surgeon. Repeat after me: nurse. 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 Excellent nurse, okay. What is nurse? Enfermera. Enfermera. Enfermera, exactly. Excellent. Esto sí es enfermera o enfermero. Puede ser cualquiera de los dos. Nurse. Okay, this is enfermera o enfermero. Okay, the, the next one, repeat. Doctor. 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 Doctor, okay, doctor, you know what is a doctor, right? It can be a woman, it can be a man. It's a doctor, right? It's a doctor. It's a doctor, a doctor. Okay, this is doctor. Repeat after me. Businessman. 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 Okay, what do you think that is a businessman? Empresario. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Empresario. Uy, se me pasó. Um, okay. Yeah, empresario. You can be empresario o un hombre de negocios. Cualquiera de las dos que le quiera decir, it's okay. Businessman. Un hombre de negocios. Business significa negocios y men significa hombre. Por lo tanto, en conjunto, la palabra en conjunto significa hombre de negocios o un empresario, como ya nos dijeron por aquí. Un hombre de negocios o un empresario. It's a businessman. Okay, the next one. Repeat after me. Secretary. 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 Excellent. Secretary. That means secretaria, right? Secretaria. This is secretaria. Someone that is like parecido a lo que vimos en el chat. ¿Se acuerdan cuando leímos la conversación? Y vimos eh, que decía front desk agent, así. Front desk agent. Ah, conserje nos decía Cintia. Cintia, esa es una muy buena palabra para describir lo, lo que veíamos de, eh, de custodian. Me, me gusta esa palabra que Cintia dijo, creo que es la más acertada, ¿sí? Esa palabra. Thank you so much, Cintia, for helping me. This is a good job to, to name a custodian. Y es un conserje. Es una muy buena palabra. Ok, thank you so much. Se me había ido totalmente, ¿ok? Thank you. Y les decía que secretary es casi que lo mismo o viene siendo un sinónimo de front desk eh, 
front desk agent, es un, una persona que está usualmente al frente de la, de, de, eh, del escritorio que está esperando a que los clientes lleguen o que llegue la gente, right? This is a secretary or a front desk um, agent. The other one, repeat, painter. 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 Painter, excellent. You know what is a painter? It's, something that, it's someone that paints, right? It's alguien que pinta, right? This is a painter. For example, I am a painter. Yeah, it's not my, my career, but I am a painter, right? No es mi carrera, pero sí me gusta mucho pintar. Es una de mis pasiones. So I really love to paint. I am a painter, right? This is another job. Okay, repeat after me. Detective. Detective. Excellent, detective. That means detective, right? Detective means detective. Excellent, it sounds great. It's another work too. I don't know if this work exists in the reality. No estoy bastante segura de si funciona en la realidad, right? Pero que estoy segura de que, por ejemplo, en Estados Unidos, la gente que trabaja en los casos de la policía de desapariciones y así, se encargan de investigar. So they can be a detective, right? For um, eh, la CIA or something like that. This is a detective, right? The other one, repeat, chef. 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 Excellent, chef. You know what is chef? Someone that cooks, right? This is chef. Okay, excellent. Repeat after me. Waiter. 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 Repeat. Waiter. 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 Excellent. Waiter. What is waiter? Mesero. 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 Exacto. Y mesera se dice waitress. Así. Esto es mesera, esto es en femenino. Waiter es en masculino. En waitress es en femenino, right? Waiter es para él, waitress es para ella. So this is meseros, mesero y mesera, ¿ok? Esos son los que sirven en los restaurantes, lo que le lleva la comida, ¿ok? Repeat after me, bartender. Bartender. Bartender, ¿ok? What is a bartender? Para ¿Perdón? Un preparador de bebidas. Exacto, yes. Les decimos, eh, hay, bueno, hay otra palabra para nombrarlo, son los barman. Les dicen como barman, que viene como bar, que es el bar, es el lugar donde se toma. Y los men que son los hombres, right? Puede decir barman o puede decir bartender. Y ambas cosas son, pues, eh, esas personas que preparan los tragos, right? En las discos, en los bares en los restaurantes, right? Esas personas que preparan los tragos, eh, como los mojitos, las, I don't know, um, las, cu la, la, las cuanas, um, las micheladas, or something like that. They are bartenders or barmen, ¿ok? Puede ser cualquiera de esos, bartender or barmen, ¿ok? Son las personas que preparan los licores, ¿ok? Y en el español usualmente también les decimos bartender, de hecho, es una palabra que adoptamos en inglés, también les decimos bartender. Okay, repeat after me. Pilot. Excellent. Pilot. I was talking about this uh, a few minutes ago, right? When when I was talking about my dream work and I say like I said like I would like to be a pilot, right? Me gustaría ser una piloto, piloto. Puede ser pilot de aviones o pilot de carreras. Ambas se pueden utilizar. Hay pilotos de carreras también, right? Que son como de los carros, right? So they are pilots too. Okay, repeat after me. Flight attendant. Flight attendant. Excellent. Flight attendant. Okay, that means aeromosa. Aeromosa. Yes, aeromosa. También puede ser eh, asistente de viaje, se les dice también. Pero la mayoría de personas les dicen aeromosas. Son asistentes de viaje. This is flight attendant, right? Son las, eh, las chicas, eh, usualmente son chicas, pero también hay chicos que están en los aviones y les llevan, por ejemplo, los audífonos y los pide o si quiere um, algún, alguna comida o algo. This is a flight attendant, right? Esta es una, eh, un, una hermosa. Can you repeat after me? Teacher. 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 
Excellent. Like me, right? I am a teacher, right? Like me. Okay, repeat after me. Astronaut. Astronaut. Excellent. Astronaut. Perfect. You did it great. Okay, repeat after me. Architect. 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 Okay, Archie, como si dijeran Archie. Architect, right? This is architect, right? It's another job. Architect. Okay, repeat after me. Handyman. 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 Okay, what do you think that is a handyman? Mechanical. ¿Cómo? Escucho una respuesta. Yeah, what is handyman? Es como que... el que da mantenimiento o algo así. No, no recuerdo la palabra en español. Sí, sí, es un personal de mantenimiento, right? This is a handyman. Incluso puede ser mecánico o puede ser personal de mantenimiento. Um, son las personas que ayudan a reparar las cosas, por ejemplo, los carros o el aire acondicionado o el ventilador o something like that, que arreglan electrodomésticos. This is a handyman. Okay, this is handyman. That means un personal de mantenimiento que le pueden dar mantenimiento a los electrodomésticos. No necesariamente a un carro, puede ser una lavadora, puede ser a una refrigeradora, right? This is a handyman. Okay, the other one, repeat after me. Construction worker. Construction worker. Excellent construction worker. Okay, this is something like obrero. Obrero. Excellent, Jonathan. Obrero. Excellent. Construction working is something like obrero, right? Alguien que trabaja en construcción. Traducido específicamente sería trabajo de construcción, pero no les decimos así, sino que en el español les decimos obreros, right? This is a construction worker. Okay. Repeat after me. Bellhop. 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 Excellent. Do you know what is a bellhop? No. Eh, no sé si en El Salvador se usa, pero creo que lo he escuchado de, en México, que es como el botón, ese que lleva las maletas. Yes, es, se les dice botones en el español, creo. Right? Se les dice botones, right? Sí. Uh -huh. Son los que llevan las maletas, exacto. Thank you so much. This is a bellhop. Es alguien que lleva las maletas. This is a bellhop o botones en el español. Can you repeat after me? Police officer. Police officer. Excellent, police officer. Okay, repeat after me, boxer. 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 Okay, también se le puede decir boxing players, que son jugadores de boxeo, right? But it, boxer is the most common, or boxing players, okay? And the last one, repeat after me, mailman. 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 Mailman, que es un sinónimo, por cierto, del que habíamos visto aquí, que era postman. Son sinónimos. Se puede decir mailman o puede decir postman. Cualquiera de los dos está bien. Ok. So, do you have any questions about these occupations in English, about these works? ¿Alguien tiene alguna pregunta sobre esto que acabamos de ver? No. 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 Ok. So we're going to have a speaking activity where you are going to describe your dream work, right? Voy a dejarles de compartir y nos vamos a poner en las breakup rooms. Y eh, ustedes van a contar a sus compañeros cuál es su dream job, ¿ok? Pregúntenle a sus compañeros, Dalila, what's your dream job? Ok, Dalila va a decir, hey, my dream job is to be a teacher, for example. Um, why? Why do you like to be a teacher? Because I really love to teach, right? It's like my example, right? Digamos que yo era Dalila. So this is going to be the dynamic. Are you ready for this? Todos listos? Preguntas acerca de esto? No. Ok. Entonces vamos a pasar a crear nuestras alas. Ya saben qué hacer. Se unen y nos vemos en un ratito. Okay, get into the breakup rooms, please, all of you.
Okay, we are getting back. Todavía faltan algunos, but we are getting back. Okay, and 20 seconds is going to be close. So um, we're going to start with the, with the exercise, like um, socializing the exercise, right? So, me faltan algunas personitas de la room número tres. No sé si no habían terminado y no se habían unido, but ya casi. Se cierra. Okay. So, guys, I need to know what happened in your exercise. Someone who wants to share the exercise, raise your hand. Yeah, raise your hand. No one? Do I have to choose? Okay, veamos, preguntémosle a Abigail Ortiz. What happened in your, in your breakup room? Tell me. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hi. Um, Christian, uh, your dream work is marinero. And Maria Lima, your dream work is nurse. And Francisco... Uh, your dream is bartender. And finally, I um, my dream work is pilot. Okay, pilot. Repeat pilot. Pilot. Excellent. Excellent, Abigail. Okay, yeah. Remember que cuando hablamos de él o ella podemos decir his and her. Como si es él, por ejemplo, his dream o her dream, right? Eh, es como cuando hablamos de él o ella, right? Si les decimos a ti, si podemos decir you, ¿ok? Eh, veo a Jonathan levantando la mano. Yes, Jonathan, do you want to share your screen? Your, sorry, your exercise. <laughs> In my group, we talk about dream work. And for example, Jocelyn wants to be a community manager and work. In the social media, and Dalila wants to be a doctor. I have a degree social communication, and Albert, I don't remember. Sorry. Albert, <laughs> okay. Albert, what's your 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 dream? <laughs> you there, Albert? My dream was psychology. Psychologist, okay, psychologist is a good dream, okay. And Jonathan, what was your 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 dream job? Eh, perdón. Your own, el suyo, el de usted. Eh, social communication. Ah, okay. I am I have degree in social okay. communication. It's cool. Okay, thank you so much. Someone wants to tell me the exercise? Alguien más quiere decirme el ejercicio? No? No more. Oh my God. Okay, we are sharing our, our dream works, right? Estamos como compartiendo nuestros dream works, um, asegurándonos, right? Um, de que todos tengamos un dream work, for example, algunos querían ser, I don't know, um, bartender, right? I really like it. I would like to be a pilot, right? And someone like, like Abigail would like to be a pilot too. So that's one of the dream works, right? Estamos hablando de nuestros sueños, sueños que queremos lograr o que quisiéramos poder ser. Okay. Y siempre recuerden que para estas cosas se pueden dar descripciones. Si, por ejemplo, algo le pre alguien le pregunta, ¿pero qué es un piloto? Oh, it's someone who flies in a plane in the sky, right? And you give a description. And you da una descripción de qué es lo que es, qué es, de qué se trata ese trabajo, right? So that's the that's the idea of the me of this tense, okay? That's the that's the idea of this topic. Sorry, that's the idea of this topic. So I need to know if someone of you have any questions about the things that we saw today. Alguien tiene alguna pregunta sobre las cosas que vimos hoy?
No? No more questions? No. no, no teacher. Teacher. Everything is good. Ok, perfect. So, solo recordarles la plataforma. No se les olvide que ya estamos en la sección 4, así que vayan completando la sección 4 y si pueden empezar la 5 de una vez, denle. Denle con todo, ok? Recordarles la plataforma porque es muy importante. So, if you don't have any more questions, I'm going to see you tomorrow in class. See you guys. Bye. See you, teacher. Bye. See you. Bye. See you tomorrow. Take care. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye.